One year ago, right here in the DCU Center, Ned Reichenbach watched his friend Ben Majeski deliver the keynote address at our 27th annual conference. Perhaps like others in the room, Ned said to himself, hey, I could do that. But he took it one step further and he asked the then board chair, Dr. Brian Scottko, to let him know. For Ned, life is not about sitting on the sidelines. With Special Olympics, he is a quadruple threat, competing in basketball, soccer, swimming, and skiing. As an extension of his studies with the GROW program at the Riverview School in Sandwich, Ned attends Cape Cod Community College three days a week. When not studying, he moonlights at the Riverview Dish Room and Kitchen. And when not away at school, he lives with his parents in Newton, where he's been active for more than a decade in the city's Tigers program. As an athlete, scholar, employee, Ned is a self-advocate in the most powerful sense, making sure that his life is full of learning, activity, and inclusion. Please welcome to the stage our 28th annual conference keynote speaker, Ned Reichenbach. Thank you, everybody. Please be seated. I'd like to welcome my two sisters, Emily Reichenbach and Mimi Reichenbach. Good afternoon, everyone, at the MDSC. My name is Edward Nickham Reichenbach. I like to be called Ned. Ned. I, I, I am. I am going to start talking about my life. I, I was born at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford, Connecticut. I am the third child in a family of four kids. I have an older brother and sister. My older sister is here today with me. And a young, young sister, Mimi, who is also here too. We also have two dogs, Hazel and Mowgli. When I was born, we, we lived in West Hartford, Connecticut. Charlie and Emily were born in Houston, Texas. Too bad for my brother, he was born in an all-women's hospital down there. And M Mimi was born mm, right behind me. I have, uh, uh, I had open heart surgery when I was 18 months old. I have a beautiful scar on my chest. When I lived in the West Hartford, I had special tutors that came nearly every day to help me with my speech and other things. I went to Norfolk School for kindergarten and first grade. The summer after first grade, we moved here to Massachusetts. I started at the Peer School in the West Newton. I love Massachusetts. I, I was really lucky to end up in Newton with my three buds in the front row, Brennan Durkin, Brian Heffernan, and Ben Majeski. and to meet a group of kids with Down syndrome who do a program every Saturday morning. We call ourselves the Newton Tigers. That is, that is where I met and made many of my very good friends like Brandon Durkin, Brian Heffernan, Ben Majeski, and some other friends I have. We even went to Special Olympic Soccer as a team. The Tigers also do bowling, floor, floor hockey, and baseball. And look after me, I am just like Chara. I love the Special Olympics. I do a lot of their sports. I have competed in soccer, skiing, swimming, and basketball events. Special Olympics. 
I started skiing when I was three y years old. My father tells me that he taught me how to ski by spending a week skiing backwards, bent over ho holding on onto my ski tips. I have skied for the Special Olympics for six or seven year years. This year, I moved them in Special Olympic skiing from intermediate to advanced. <laughs> this year was the first year that I competed in basketball. And I was able to do that with my school, Riverview School. I am very lucky. I am. I also do sports with my family. We all skied except for one. That's my mom. We have skied in New England, Quebec, and out west. I've been out west in Colorado skiing. When I was seven, we even went skiing in France. Bonsoir. <laughs> One year, I rode, I rode in the Rodman ride on a tandem bicycle with my father, Mr. John Reichenbach. I have also been all over places to watch my father, my brother, Charlie, and my two sisters, Emily and Mimi. Row. Here is a picture. Here is a picture of me with my brother and his rowing team at a club in Henley, England. My parents would not let me to have any beer. <laughs> I now to go to review school down on the Cape and eat sandwich. I started there the summer before I was a senior in high school. After my senior year in high school, I moved up to the GROW program, which since we're getting ready for the outside world. I attend Cape Cod Community College, also known as the Four Cs, three days a week. I am. I am working on figuring out what area of work I am best suited for. I love to visit. Uh, I love to go visit my cousins and grandparents, mostly in Buffalo and, and Florida. I have 14 cousins on one side and six on the other. We always have a great time when we get together. I am a big fan of all the Boston and New Eng England teams. I like to hang out with my friends and cheer on the teams on. In Newton, I would like to get together with my friends for a pizza and a game to cheer on the Patriots and Red Sox. I hope to be an usher or work in Wally's World for the Red Sox this summer. At Riverview, in my dorm, we also have pizza, and I love pizza. I, I recommend sausage pizza to everybody. <laughs> and share on the Patriots, Red Sox, Boston Bruins, and Boston Celtics. including the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Providence Bruins. I love Boston sports. This is the best part of my speech. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a girlfriend. I have been seeing her for almost three years. I met her at Riverview School. She is in my class and we graduated toge together. She's also in the GROW program. Her name is uh, Olivia Rollison. She is from da Danvers, Mass, and she went to, went to the Cotton School over there. 
I have a few jobs. When I, when I was in middle school, I had a job at Cabot's Ice Cream in Newton. The owner of Cabot's is Joe Priest John, who recently been in the Newton tab. Uh, I set up tables before opening. It was great. We were paid in ice cream. <laughs> Two of my favorite flavors are cake batter ice cream and death by chocolate ice cream, which I recommend all those flavors to all of you. I, I still love going there with my friends whenever we can. When I was at Newton North High School, I, I, delivered, I delivered the mail and, and, and helped with recycling. I even helped supply the paper to all the printers around school. And trust me, I did that a lot. It was, it was really tough work. Speaking about New North, I'd like to I'd like to in, invite Miss Francie, who, who who welcome to attend who attended there as my math teacher at Newton North High School. So Miss Francie, would you please stand up? <laughs> Last year, I worked I worked in in the dirty side, and this year, wait a minute, I mm, mm, missed an area. At Riverview, I worked in the cafeteria serving food when I was a senior in high school. When I moved up to the grow program, uh, I stayed I stayed working in the dish room. There's a dirty side and a clean side. I get the dishes organized and sorted. Last year, I worked in the dirty side, and this year, I started on the clean side, but now I'm, I'm back on the dirty side. <laughs> the, dirty, the dirty side, it, I like the dirty side better. <laughs> I am building up my resume once for a jo job once I finish at a review. I love going on vacation. I am happy wherever we go as long as it's a vacation. I am on vacation now, and it's great. Thank you very much for listening.